Howdy everyone, and welcome back to Sustainable Jungle, where we share sustainability tips, tricks, hacks, brands, products, and stories to better our planet. I'm Amber, and today I'm here to talk to you about a bit of a seedy topic and a term you've no doubt come across in the world of gardening, heirloom seeds. It's a fancy, mystical sounding term, but what exactly are heirloom seeds? The term refers to any heritage seed from a plant that was passed down from one generation to the next and carefully grown and saved for features like its hardiness, adaptability, flavor, and productivity. The exact heirloom seeds definition is still up for considerable debate, but one thing is widely agreed upon. The heirloom seeds are as close to the original seed as we have, having been saved, grown, and maintained by farmers generation after generation. Though their characteristics may evolve naturally to some extent, they remain true to their original parent plant, aka true to seed. Most importantly, heirloom seeds are open pollinated meaning that the wind, birds, bees, and other critters pollinate the plant, as opposed to farmers and scientists. And this means that they produce hardy seeds that can be saved and grown next season, which, if you didn't know, a lot of GMO varieties can't do. This was specifically designed by companies like Monsanto so that farmers would need to keep buying their seeds year after year, breeding dependency on big ag. For those that are still savable, well, Monsanto has taken care of that too by patenting their seeds so that they can sue any commercial farmer caught saving them for the next season. Yikes. Speaking of GMOs, let's talk a little bit more about them. So GMOs are genetically modified organisms, whether that be plant, animal, bacteria, or virus, that biotechnology was applied to to create a specific combination of different genes and features. Basically, it's something that cannot occur in nature or through conventional crossbreeding methods. Now, GMO seeds aren't technically available to the general public, but they are common in the heavily monopolized world of big ag, where conventional farmers are given little crop sovereignty. Now, we say technically because while the average backyard homesteader can't buy them directly, the overuse and perpetuation of GMOs by organizations like Monsanto and Syngenta have led to the contamination of commercially available seeds through cross-pollination with GMO species. In other words, pollen drift from your neighbor's GMO cornfield could result in the presence of GMO corn in your garden's non-GMO corn crop. If you save those seeds and plant them next year, you may be unknowingly planting a dilution of a genetically modified crop, that is, if they will even sprout at all. Now consider that 90% of U.S. farmland is filled with GMO crops. What will this do for the world's genetic plant diversity? What about human health? We lack rigorous studies on the health impacts associated with GMO crops, due in large part to Monsanto's government lobbying, and engineered traits like herbicide resistance have led to chemical-intensive monocultures that are destroying biodiversity both on and off the farm. So in summary, Heirloom seeds are not hybridized or genetically modified, but are they organic? Well, not necessarily. Organic refers to an approach of growing the plants and seeds. So putting aside debates and credibility of the USDA organic label, to earn it, crops must theoretically be raised and processed in accordance and inspected by the USDA's National Organic Program or a verified third-party auditor, which prohibits synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, GMOs, sewage sludge, and fresh manure. Heirloom, meanwhile, has no governing body to dedicate the title. Heirlooms by nature are open pollinated and non-GMO, but they aren't necessarily cultivated without chemical inputs. So the best solution is to look for organic and heirloom varieties. So aside from sticking it to Monsanto, what are the benefits of heirloom seeds? Well, there's a number of advantages. On first glance, they're more fun, flavorful, and nutritionally dense. In fact, a number of studies suggest that heirloom varieties are more densely packed with nutrition than their GMO or even hybrid counterparts due to the way they grow and blossom. They also promote self-sufficiency through seed saving and resiliency through adaptability to different growing conditions, pests, and diseases. Countless seasons of natural pollination equips these seeds with the innate ability to thrive under diverse environmental condition, which in turn bolsters the resilience of the entire ecosystem and makes growers less reliant on chemical solutions to these problems. But most importantly, they preserve genetic diversity in a world that seems bent on stamping it out. Thanks to the destructive practices of modern agriculture, 93% of seed varieties were already extinct by the year 1990. This loss of crop diversity and the subsequent biodiversity with it is one of the biggest threats to our planet we don't talk nearly enough about. And we get it, climate change is scary, but so is the thought of all crops except for corn and soybeans being wiped out in the next 50 years. The conservation and propagation of heirloom seeds is one of the brightest solutions to revitalizing soils, food security, disease resistance, genetic diversity, and better nutrition. By now you might be wondering where to buy heirloom seeds. Great, we've done our job then, but we'll continue to help out. So there are tons of places out there offering heirloom seeds, and we're gonna provide a link in the description below to a whole list of some of our favorite sustainable seed brands. But here are some of my personal favorites when I need seeds that I didn't save myself from the previous year. First, there is Fedco. 
They were one of the first seed companies to sign the Safe Seed Pledge, which has established their commitment to a non-genetically modified seed. And they're one of the most respected worker-consumer-owned cooperatives specializing in gardening and farming supplies. As the original members of the Back to Land movement and now a major supplier of seeds in the USA, the work that Fedco does in terms of heirloom preservation, genetic diversity, food sovereignty, sustainability, and land regeneration is incredibly important. They do not sell patented seed varieties, and they also pay royalties to any native or indigenous peoples that preserve that particular seed throughout history, making these heirloom seeds ethically sourced as well. So while they don't do exclusively heirloom stock, Fedco offers countless catalogs of heirloom seed varieties in addition to the rest of their largely organic and entirely non-GMO stock. Every year, I look forward to thumbing through the pages of their adorably old-timey Sustainable Seed Company catalog, which includes quirky sketches on its newsprint pages, which also means that I can recycle or compost this, unlike some other color-coded catalogs. Their organic Cherokee purple tomato, which you can see my little sprouts, this little guy right here, has a place in my garden every year. It has this really lovely dark maroon flesh, and it is hands down the most flavorful tomato I have ever had. Plus, I love that since Fedco is based in Maine, most of the varieties that they sell are cold hardy, which is really perfect for folks like myself battling those really short zone 5A growing windows. Now, if you wanna get really creative and experimental, we have Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, formerly known as Baker Creek Rare Seeds. Now, it is worth noting that the full Baker Creek catalog sells a whole bunch of also non-necessarily heirloom seeds, but if you do specifically get the heirloom seed catalog, that's all you'll find in here. So I'm personally really excited to experiment with their richly multicolored and translucent kernels of the glass gem corn this year. I'm also trying out the strawberry corn, which makes these really cute little purple ears and supposedly makes some of the most delicious popcorn ever. I'll keep you posted. Now, this highly reputable heirloom seed only company provides 2,000 varieties of seeds for heirloom vegetables, flowers, and herbs, boasting one of the greatest selection of seeds from the 1800s. Charitable giving is also at the root of their mission, and they work with nonprofit organizations to ensure that much of their profits provide emergency aid, sustainable development, education, and food to people in need in the U.S. and abroad. They also give free seeds to hundreds of community and educational groups, leveling the field when it comes to nutrient-dense, delicious food access. So what are you waiting for? Let's make like a tree or pumpkin vine and leave the genetically engineered seeds behind. After all, and not to sound dramatic, the very survival of humankind and our planet depends on our symbiotic relationship with nature, where life is valued as the main currency, not big eggs cash. Now, I'm always looking for unique, new varieties to plant, so if you have any heirloom varieties that you love, please drop them in the comments below. But before you rush out to go buy seeds, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so that you can stay in the loop on all things green gardening and living. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.